last time Howard managed to collect his first bit of cash, and today he's going to be focusing on engineering materials. This video is brought to you by Rich Wallet. Rich is redefining the wallet with their compact wallets made from premium materials. Their wallets are easily half the size of traditional wallets, but despite that, they can still hold up to 12 card and has a money clip on the side. Want to carry coins or key? No problems. Rich got you covered with their optional cavity tray. All their wallets also come with RFID blocking to prevent digital theft. So check out Rich Wallet on rich.com forward slash D2A and use offer code D2A to get 10% off. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Howard O'Connor's on foot only adventure where I am playing Elite Dangerous Odyssey without flying spaceships and a lot of you guys asked last time Hold on, wait a second, what's going on here? Hello? <laughs> that doesn't look right Anyway, last time a lot of you guys asked why? Why am I doing this? Well because I want to see how the game plays as uh, as on foot only, as this was one of the big selling points from Frontier that you could play it on foot only. It was basically a whole new game on its own. Now we're still on the same station as we were last time, but since then system state has changed and we now have some support missions. And these are all like restore missions, which were exactly what I was looking for last time. Weapon inventory, pretty nice, getting that as, a, as an engineering material. We definitely gotta, gotta pick that one up. Look at that, that's beautiful, pretty much all of them apart from one yeah all apart from one is all around the same planet so we're just gonna start from an end i guess and then uh, see how this goes ricky astrophysics facility or well there's not much here is there i can't see a thing oh no, here we go i'm really really missing night vision a lot Step number one is to figure out where they put the power building. Oh, I think I know this layout. I think I know where the power building is, and I think it's that one over there. Yes! Right? Nope, that's a half. What about this also rests... This is one of those with a built-in power plant at the back. There we go. There's a power building. And it looks like it's a standalone building. Okay, it's a door here. Nice. Luckily, there's no one here. What's going on with that corner? Okay, get another angle on it. There we go. I'm just going to power on the door, as, again, this is a power on mission, so we do have access to put that power regulator in, and turn on the power. While we're doing that, we're going to do what we actually came here for, and that is to loot everything that's not bolted to the floor. Weapon schematics, suit schematics, suit schematics, not too bad. Not too bad at all. We probably need to put off the fires while we're here. So it should be a lot easier to find a way around now. Yeah, okay. So let's start with the research building here. Uh, okay, let's see. Start with the lab here at the ground floor. And onwards to the next one. I'll just be watching memes in the meantime while we're flying. <laughs> That's one of the things with this with this type of gameplay is you have these shuttle rides, and I don't really think the shuttle rides are that much slower than flying. I think you can do it a little faster when flying yourself, but you have all this dead playtime every time you go from a station or to or from stations or whatever. And you gotta do something with it. It's not enough time that you can go and do something productive with it, so. I got my phone and I'm watching memes <laughs> in the meantime. Ah, at least we got one in the daylight this time, so we don't have to uh, stumble around in the dark. Should also make it a little bit easier for us to spot the power plant. That's the power building right there. And you can see there's a tunnel there. That means we have to get inside the command building first. And then through a whole lot of doors. Before we can make it into the power building. So, uh... Get out your cutting tool. 
And let's get to cutting. Luckily, no cutting needed here. Power on this door, cut our way through this door, and finally make it into the power room. Let's get this thing powered on. Uh, what? Something's not right here. So, I okay, look at this. I put the power regulator in. Power re regulator is in that housing. And I go over to turn it on. But... Clearly Elite is saying, no! That panel should allow me to engage the power plant, but without that panel active, it's gonna be a little difficult. Hmm, so either this base here is bugged, um, like in general, or I was just something just bugged in this instance. So I can try to relock. That is gonna despawn all the loop, which is primarily why I'm here. But I just want to know if it's a general problem with this base or if it's uh, if it was just a bad instance. So uh, let's go ahead and let's try to jump out to main menu, lock back in. Oh, you see that over there, right center screen? Looks like someone is standing there. With a rifle. Yeah, now he's walking. So we got hostiles this time around. Um, we don't have any kind of silent weapons, so there's really no point in trying to be sneaky about this. So I'm just gonna see if I can at least get into the building without them noticing us. Because if we can that, then we're actually doing okay. At least we can figure out if this is just a base problem or if it's a was an instance problem. Gonna go and cut the panel. Cut the panel. Power it on. The good thing is they do not have any security clearance. And that means once we are in here, then we should be safe. Now I'm gonna run out of power if I keep doing this. So I'm gonna use a power pack here. Oh, there we go. That looks more promising. This time the panel is actually active. Put that in there. And initialize it. Ah, look at that. They're now all up and alert. Walking around all scared about who just turned on the power. But we just have a few more buildings we need to check. And I think... Jumping across here, I should be able to just drop down from the roof there and run inside without getting spotted. Especially if I drop down back here, then we go sneaky inside. Okay, they can actually go in here as so it's a security level zero. Oh, I just want to check for fires. There it is, much better. Okay, that's the hap. Okay, I got spotted. Oi! Okay, that was a sniper. Whee! I'm just gonna out run through this door. There we go. Okay, they can't fight me in here. Okay, there's only one building left. Whoa! Hey! Hello! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Mazes everywhere! Okay, okay. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Okay. We are safe inside the burning building. Okay. Let's get upstairs. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Okay, that should be the last one. Okay, no one's at the back entrance. The landing pads are right there. Yeah, there we go. Hollow just turned on on that landing pad. Just remembering the name of it. This is an okay place for farming. And we are out of here. 
Okay, here's the next one. I already spotted a number of flashlights at this location. There's one there. There's one right here. Ah, we already spotted. Okay, let's guess it's time for some combat. And he'd run it to cover. Good thing is the control grenades up here and I can pretty much control the cover as much as I want if I could then actually hit anything. That's one. Oh, I wish I had the Tormentor pistol right now. Oh, 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 shields are down. Oh, oh, that's a grenade. Oh, they can actually throw grenades up here. Okay. Ah, come on. There we go. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Oh, can you shoot the grenade? Oh, I think you could actually shoot the grenade, but I just hit it too late. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. After two more settlements that were relatively uneventful, then <laughs> we're back at the station and this seems to be a trend now. These guys are still sitting here and now apparently, well, if people are just sleeping on the seats, you can just use them as seats, I guess. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ, and people say the stars are this, this sparky. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go and hand in these missions. And like that, we just made ourselves our first million credits. Not too bad. I want to run down and I want to see if we have enough to actually do any kinds of upgrades. I have a pretty good selection of items, I think. I'm not sure what we'll upgrade the weapons to start with. I think I want to start with... Okay, so we need some carbon fiber plating. Haven't found any of that. And we need power regulars. Power regulars are easy. We can do those really quickly. But you just go and talk to the bots and see if we can get those carbon fiber platings. Okay, there's the carbon fiber plating. Um, let's just hand in some of these like memory chips and all that stuff. That's why they like picking this stuff up because they're good for trading and for other stuff. There we go. That should do it. Five units. All we need is just to get those power regulators and they are, should be at least, very, very easy for us to get. We just got to jump in here to the mission board. We're going to find support missions, of which there should be plenty. We're just going to find a faction where we have a decent amount of standing. Any of these will do, except that mission. We're going to go straight into our transactions. We're going to find our mission, and we're going to abandon it. Now, they obviously don't like that, and they're going to give us a fine. But that's okay. There we go. We got 100,000 fine. So, pay that off, and we just got ourselves a free power regulator. Oh, well, free. We paid 100,000 for it, but that's a very easy way to get your power regulators. And there we go. We now have everything we need to do our suit upgrade. So let's upgrade it. There we go. Very nice. First upgrade is in, and uh, with a little bit of credits, I think that next time we're going to be looking at unlocking some of the first engineers. Maybe we're gonna run around and see if we can find some pre-upgraded weapons. I really wanna get my hands on some of the plasma weapons since they are a lot better. So maybe that's gonna be the project next time. Go around, see where we can find some interesting things, unlock some engineers maybe. We'll see what happens. But it's gonna be it for this time. Thanks a lot for watching and also next time. I'll see you guys in space.